Good morning everybody. So it's super exciting because today is actually the day that I'm flying out to South Africa. It's the first time that I'm going on an international or intercontinental flight since 2019. So I'm super, super excited and I will be vlogging this whole trip and I thought it would be fun to take you guys along on my day today. So it's currently 4.30 in the morning, which is quite early. Um, I just got here from my house. My parents dropped me off. They were very kind to wake up in the middle of the night and drop me off here. And then I just got through security and I also am already sitting at my gate. It might still change. I have until about 5.10, I think. And then the official gate will be announced, but I think it will be here because it's already on my boarding pass. So yeah, right now I'm just have a quick stop in Amsterdam. And then from there, I'm flying directly to uh, Cape Town airport. So I won't get there until about 9.30 at night. So it will be a long, long day, but I'm super excited. And it's just really nice to be able to travel again. So. I'll take all the travel days and like the stress of being back at the airport any day. So after getting to Amsterdam airport, I just quickly grabbed some lunch on the go and waited at my gate. And then I just got onto my next flight all the way to Cape Town, which was a very smooth process. I also upgraded my seat so that I would have an aisle seat, which was really nice. And I just watched a couple of movies. And just a quick shout out to KLM because their food was absolutely amazing. I had so many delicious meals and you can choose between like usually a fish option or a chicken. And I think if you uh, announce it in advance, you can also have a vegetarian option. But yeah, the food was absolutely amazing. So we're about to land in Cape Town. I've been on the slide for like 11 hours. So I'm really craving to go home soon or at least go to my hotel. But yeah, just like the last half hour and then we should get to Cape Town. Once in Cape Town, I didn't vlog much, but I just went through security and then I got picked up by a driver, which was arranged by G Adventures, who took me then to my hostel. So I got to the hostel about 30 minutes ago and I just took a quick shower because I felt so gross from the airport. But yeah, it's currently almost midnight. And so I think it will just be best for me to go to bed right now. And then we'll be meeting the group tomorrow at 6 p.m. But there's already some people here. So maybe I'll go and hang out with them during the day. So we'll see how that goes. So guys, good morning. This is my first official day really in Cape Town. Yesterday evening after getting to the airport in Cape Town, I was so tired and I just wanted to go to my bed and sleep. And I did have a good night's sleep, but I did wake up a couple of times because check out, it is already at 10 because today I had a private room, which I'll show you here. It was really beautiful. I like that we had double beds and also my private shower. So I could take a nice shower before heading to bed yesterday evening. But yeah, I was super tired. So I just took a quick shower and then went straight to bed. And because it was already dark at night last night, I had no idea what the views from my room were like. And so this morning I opened like the blinds and this is what I woke up to. I mean, can you believe it? This is such a beautiful view. Now let's not look down there, but if you just look straight out, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I think this is part of the Table Mountain Hill, but I think this might be Signal Hill, but I'm really not sure. Um, just for my quick Google search, it looked like that might be it. But as I said, I just got to Cape Town, so I don't really know yet everything, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. And then you can see like the sun is rising all the way over there in the corner. So if you want to do a group tour with G Adventures, the way it works is basically you can arrive at any time of the day on the day that the tour starts. So for me, the tour starts on like the 22nd of May on a Sunday. So I decided to get here the day before because like the flights that I was looking at were coming from Amsterdam and they would only get in at like 9.30 p.m. And that's actually what I did yesterday. So I decided to come just a day early and I booked like a private room in the hostel that we are staying the first night, like tonight. So I just woke up around like 8, 8.30 and I just got ready. I still need to do my makeup and then I'm going to start repacking my bag just because like I had like my liquids in my little bag so that I could take it out easily in the airport. But now I'm just gonna reconfigure it a little bit and then I'm going to go check out around like 9.30 or 10. And with G Adventures, which is really cool, is they have like this app, I'll show you here. And uh, that way you can already meet with people before the tour starts or just during the tour, you can chat in that group chat and you don't have to like make a separate WhatsApp or whatever like that. 
so that is definitely something that we will be using and we already started using it i think like maybe three or four days before the tour starts people started introducing themselves and asking if people would get to cape town earlier and there's a few people here already so we will probably be doing something around 11 we said so we'll just meet downstairs and then we'll see where the day takes us so i just had breakfast and now i'm getting my bags ready and checking out we are still staying one more night in this hostel but we're doing dorms as soon as like the group gets together so last night i had a private room but then tonight we are staying in the dormitories so once checked out some of the group met up and we went to boulders beach which is this penguin beach in south africa it is not exactly in Cape Town, it's about 45 minutes outside of it, but it was definitely worth driving up there because these penguins were so cute and we had a lovely afternoon there. We then headed to the waterfront to check out what that was like before heading back to the hostel to get some drinks before the welcome meeting. What's up guys, Lisa from the future quickly jumping in to just kind of explain you guys because I kind of left you hanging this day because we met the group around 6 p.m. that evening and because like I was so in the gist of meeting everybody and being in the moment I didn't really vlog anything that night but I did kind of want to explain how it works with the welcome meeting and what you can expect from this when you are booking your first tour with G Adventures. So how it kind of worked was around 6 p.m. we all met up like I was saying before I was hanging out with some of the people already through the group chat but then we met up at 6 p.m. it was like a no, at the hostel, like there was a paper that had like all our names on it and like said that the welcome meeting was like 6 p.m. And they also said this in advance, but just in case you forgot, you could meet at 6 p.m. And we met in this like common area of the hostel and then the CEO and the driver kind of introduced themselves and explained a little bit more about what G Adventures was like and what we could expect for the next couple of days with the tour. We then did like quick introductions. So everybody just said their name, where they were from and which animal they were most excited to see. And that was kind of it for the welcome meeting. But there is always a optional dinner or maybe in some tours it's included. But for us, it was an optional dinner that was available for you to do that evening. Usually most people did all the optional dinners because it was just easy because your reservations were made. The CEO would just reserve a big table at a restaurant close to where you're staying and most people would just join and for this welcome meeting everybody joined which was definitely really nice and it was like a way for everybody to kind of meet each other further but unfortunately in South Africa there's a lot of blackouts and we had a blackout during the dinner so that's why I didn't really film any clips I did get a picture of my food which was very very yummy but yeah I don't really have anything from the night but we then headed back to the hostel to just have an early night because the next morning we were leaving around 6 a.m and that was kind of it for the first days in Cape Town. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I make sure to subscribe if you want to see the next videos that are all about my vlogs, about my experiences throughout Southern Africa. And I'm super excited to share those with you. So make sure to stay tuned for those. And I will see you in the next video.